Contacts of mine in the industry seem to suggest that there are two things to be said about Cresset TV. The first is that perhaps it's rather idealistic in its plans, not quite starry-eyed, but idealistic. The second is that it seems to be almost regionally obsessed. If you add up the hours which it's planning on regional programmes, they seem to come to something like 900, which is very, very big. It does, however, have with it the biggest name yet to, to be declared in these bids and to have come from the BBC, though he's not actually working for the BBC now, of course. James Kethlin Jones, you're uh, a distinguished drama producer. You were once head of BBC Plays, no less. Is that your main idea for the South, big drama on television? It's not our main idea, but it's one of our main ideas. We have this concept of a series of six plays called Theatre Royal, and we're joining together with a company called Triumph Productions, who own and run several theatres in the region, including the Theatre Royal Brighton and a theatre at Folkestone. And we, uh, our concept is that we jointly cast provide the director who will be the director for both the television and the theatre and we run the plays in in the theatre and then redirect them in our studios for television. Now drama on ITV has often meant the worst kind of soap opera in the early days at least. Can good drama pay in terms of the ratings? Yes you might say it has sometimes meant the worst kind of soap opera on BBC on occasions as well. well <laughs> I've worked on it. it. <laughs> um, yes, does, it does good drama pay though? Yes, it can. Uh, it can and it should. Good single plays um, only actually pay in small, carefully chosen quant uh, quantities. Uh, I and several of us in this group have worked quite a lot in America and on American television, a single play or special, provided it's well cast and well scripted, can be made to work and work very successfully. But in large quantities, with low standards, no. Now, do you seriously think that your application is likely to overturn the company that's been there for so long? Obviously, we think it has got a very good chance of doing so. Otherwise, we wouldn't have got together and spent all this time making our application. Yes, I believe we can succeed. Now, you're a programme maker above all else. Can you sit happily, do you think, on a board with the, uh, uh, the businessman with a big fat cigar? <laughs> I can sit on a board as long as it's composed entirely of enthusiasts. And I think we're lucky with ours. They have a certain naivete and enthusiasm, which is what carries people like me forward into accepting certain financial strictures and what carries financiers into accepting certain artistic strictures. ITV used to be simply about, I think, profit making. Mm. There seems to be a shift. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do. I think the BBC, for which I've done a lot of work and for which I've got enormous respect, is going to have to abandon in the years to come to a certain extent it, it, its role as a standard bearer if you like it can't do it with the shamefully small money it's being forced to exist on so do you think you might become a standard bearer i think all the uh, independent television companies have got to start to take on that mantle